Hi guys. I've had a not exactly a slow day, but not that much of a productive day either. Um, I've currently got two of the batteries on charge for the electric bike. Uh, one's nearly charged. One seemed to have stopped at 11 point something volts. Uh, but it might be the charge of being a bit dicky, so I'll try again. Uh, finished the dual suspension bike. Uh, well, she rides quite nice now that I've sorted it out. Done the green rally. That's nice as well. Stem's a bit horrible, but I've got a couple options there. I could change the stem or... Excuse me. <sighs> or I could just sling some paint on it. But that's a nice bike to ride. Nemo, for some reason, is bugging me for food, even though his dish is full. But, uh, you'd have thought after all these years the cat would realise I'm more stubborn than he is. I've got a bit of a pain in my neck. I must have slept funny last night. It's been hurting right up in here. Uh, the other thing I've done, I've swapped bikes around again. <coughs> um, got the wheel in this one, but for some reason, even though the wheels are the same size, the matching tyre for this one wouldn't fit the front wheel, so I've had to leave the tyre. The tyre's alright, but I've left that tyre and tube on that wheel. I've just got to pump them up. Uh, sort the brake blocks out. I've got the crank and everything on. I uh, just got to put some pedals on, chain on, pump the tyres up, connect the gear cable, tape up the handlebars. Mustn't forget to put the uh, seat post bolt in there. Not sure I'm going to get mud guards on. I did try the front one and it's not going to fit. Uh, that might be a bit of a problem. Unless I change calipers and I don't particularly want to do that. Uh, but I will investigate as to why it's not fitting properly. Uh, my other racer is out on the landing at the moment. Awaiting work. But I'll probably do that tomorrow actually. Start working on the other racer. Because uh, this one is going to take a lot more now. I don't even have the um, short mud guards to put on it because that would have looked nice. Well, they're expensive for a pair as well. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I've got another hour's worth of work, I suppose. Throw some pedals on it. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a bit of a clean up in the bedroom. Yeah, there's no batteries in the case at the minute. Yes, I do know how to rewire it. Don't panic. But, uh, but I'll just show you when the light comes on. There he is. He wants food. But look at that. Just because he can see that bit of bottom of his dish, that is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got that one on charge. That's almost done. That one I've just put on charge. I kept meaning to do it all day and I kept forgetting. That one I'm going to put back on charge. But uh, if that one won't accept any more charge, and it's obviously a dodgy battery. But uh, I've got a feeling it was this more than anything because that wasn't even registering. But it's registering on this battery, so <laughs> got it on fast charge. Yeah. Not that I'd actually call it fast charge. I mean, that's been on charge for about four hours, and it's still not quite charged. Uh, da, da, da. Still got that one to go. That little red one. I need to charge that one up. But uh, so far, it's looking good. If I've got to replace one, then I've got to replace one. That's not a big issue. It'll be a lot cheaper to replace one than it would be to buy the set of three. 
at nearly £130 for a set of three. <laughs> Ouch. That's a lot of money. And again, I suppose it would make more sense to replace all three, because then you'll have a matching set of batteries, won't you? That's £130, though. It's a lot of money. Not unless I can find a set cheaper. I just rigged up this tatty old thing very dodgily because, well, that's just, you know, push on spade crimp. I haven't got one for the live, so I just, well, the live did have one, but uh, it was completely flattened for some reason. So I just twisted it around for now. Well, I've got my meter here because I've got no way of telling when they're charged apart from using the multimeter and getting the voltage from the battery. So uh, that's why I've left my meter in here. And I left that on all night and the damn thing is still working. I can't believe I left it on. I came in here this morning and uh, it was sitting on the worktop still on. That must have must have been on for about six seven maybe eight hours something like that. that that proved though in um voltage mode um doesn't use any power does it it's all right it's only a nine volt battery if it had gone flat i'd have gone out and bought another one i think i can actually get pack of two in qds actually cheap enough right I forgot to charge the camera, so I'm just going to have to go on charge in a minute. Yeah, I haven't really done a lot. Mum popped up town earlier. Alright, I'll put some more on your dish in a minute. Give my arse a headache. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh... Mum popped up for a little while this afternoon, just to get a few bits of shopping. So I hung around town with her for a bit, going over Thursday, uh, can't remember what for now, I'll probably take a stop at the recycling centre because you never know, I know I've got shitloads of bikes as it is but you can never have too many, not when it's your uh, extra source of income you can't. Uh, Oh yeah, did I tell you? I was looking on eBay and I found one of these on eBay. And they were asking over £500 for it. That was a second-hand one. I think uh, they're in a bit of a dream world, to be honest. Because uh, my mum's neighbour Biggles had one. Was it last year or the year before? I can't remember, but he had one. And I think he got 120-odd quid for it. But, uh, unless I do a really good job at putting a, you know, an on-off switch in there to run it, I don't think I'll get that much for it. <laughs> so I haven't figured out what this sensor is. Unless it's to tell, you know, the um, controller that the bike is being pedaled. So you can't actually ride the bike using this alone, that you have to be a pet, I don't know. I suppose the only way to find out is to get it working and then go for a test run, but the brakes and everything work. Oh yeah, I still got to just make that adjustment. Anyway, I'm going to go and put this thing on charge. What have I got a 5 volt? Yeah, I've got a 5 volt adapter somewhere, I know I have. Because I've actually found the um, AC adapter socket on this, because I've been using USB to charge it, which is a bit slow. Because the USB sockets don't pump out that many amps, does it? Anyway, I'm going to shut this off and I'll be back later. Right, I'm back. Well, I've actually started this part of the video again because I ran on for far, 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 far too long. I have this nasty habit of rambling on 
and sometimes I really wish I didn't. Anyway, I'm just going to turn the screen around and turn the camera around. Uh, apart from eating a quiche and listening to some music and playing solitaire on Facebook and watching some YouTube videos and uploading a video to YouTube I haven't done a lot oh and by the way I'm uh, I'm literally uploading the videos the following day after I make them so this one will go up Wednesday the 16th because today is the uh, 15th so I am on track I'm going to get out of the habit of uh, not feeling like uploading a video when I get back from spending the day at Mum's. It's usually because I get back at sort of 8, 9 o'clock time and I just feel like chilling, so... But, uh, you know, it doesn't take a lot to uh, upload a video when YouTube is behaving. It took ages earlier. Uh, at one point I start the whole thing again after I rebooted my hub in case it was that that was playing up again. But it still took ages, a lot longer than it should. So I presume YouTube may have uh, been playing up because all of a sudden it then went nice and fast and smooth like it always does. It just started off really slow. But I don't know, I'm guessing YouTube had an issue and it's throwing a hissy fit. Right. One of my batteries is nearly up to the 13 volt mark that I'm aiming for. The other one was, well, as it was discharged down to like 6 point something volts, that's gonna. It's coming up, the voltage is rising, which is a good sign. But that's gonna take a while to get it to the uh, mark. It's gonna be on charge for quite a while. In fact, I'll probably get this battery up. To the voltage I want, then turn them off because I haven't got a lot of electric left. I don't think I've got enough change in my pocket to put any on, otherwise, I would. But uh, never mind, I can start again Thursday, no hurry. As soon as I can get one up, to, at least one up to the voltage, or I might just finish off the other one because that was close. Uh, that's what I was going to do. Took some photographs of some bicycles today to put on Facebook, and Cat's Custom Trikes has bought two of them. I've got to take those over. The racer behind me is already paid for. <laughs> right, uh, this is the one. There's that green rally. Excuse me, I've got a bit of wind. I'm burping. It's actually come up rather nice. It did have black bar ends on. But I actually felt like putting some nicer silver ones on because there's a lot of black. Um, but I think the black wheels really do go well on that frame. It didn't originally have black wheels. They should have been um, just your standard silver or aluminium ones. Uh... I've had a black one of these before. In fact, I think I've had two in the past. Rally Max mountain bikes. They are a nice bike to ride. They're old. Uh, that bike has got to be now at least 15, 20 years old. Because uh, I remember my cousin having one when we were at high school. So yeah, and his was new. I think he got it from Halfords, if I remember correctly. But, uh, whoa. I didn't notice that rear derailleur like that. Jesus. So far, I thought that still works fine. It's not affecting the gears, but I just didn't realise that was, um... reaching that far forwards. Oh well. Like I said, it's working absolutely fine, so... 
I don't know, there's just something about this bag, the colour and whatnot, that I like. So I don't want to get rid of this one. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, there's that professional one. That's one that Cat is having. There's the push bike. The electric one. There's a battery. I've got to go the other way then, it seems. There's the suspension bike. And Cat's having that one as well. So it's got a bit of a faulty pedal on this side that I want to change at some point. But apart from that, it works. Gears work, everything works. something interesting down the dump when I go thirsty. Not necessarily a bike, you know, there might be something in the shop or outside the shop. That's if Mum's still got the car, of course. <laughs> if Mum hasn't got the car, and I'm buggered. <laughs> don't know why they just don't keep it, to be honest. It really works, it gets them around. It's pretty good on fuel. Mum got the um, MPG, or the average MPG thing, all the way up to 55 point something miles per gallon that she was getting. For a 2 litre diesel turbo, I thought that was pretty bloody good. At one point, she'd got it so it was literally one pound a mile it was costing her in fuel. <laughs> Which I thought was actually pretty good as well. But uh, she was telling me this morning that because it's the um, budget soon that Cameron's going to put the fuel prices up. There's a surprise. We'll cut welfare. We'll cut disability welfare to be more precise. We'll cut this, that and the other. But we'll increase prices on everything as well. And then across the pond you've got that wank stain Donald Trump, so... I don't know, it just seems like lately there's a lot of uh, wank stains in politics. Regardless of what country you're living in. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, you could probably be living on a friggin' island in the middle of, middle of fucking nowhere in the sea and there'd still be a wank stain in politics there. So just fucking get everywhere. But... Cameron was voted in, allegedly, if you believe that. Some people say that was fixed. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Knowing how the Tories work, I wouldn't be surprised if the election was rigged. Oh dear. Oh, my GTEC's getting in the way. It's one of my favourite household items, the GTEC carpet sweeper. If I could use it this late at night, it makes so little noise. So if I don't know, I spilt something on the floor, broke a glass or something, I can actually clean it up without dragging out the hoover, without the worry of having to leave it there till morning and the cat standing on it. Oh yeah, if you're wondering where the electric bike is, I stuck it in here. My racer is out on the landing. And I actually found a home for my loose road lamps. 
the current lamps they have actually gone in the bottom of this cupboard because I took the two computers out, the servers out and uh, found a little cubby hole in the kitchen for them so they've gone in there out of the way which left a big gaping hole in the bottom of this cupboard so I filled it. I know I love collecting my uh, road lamps but uh, they were pissing me off only for the fact because I couldn't find anywhere to put them because you can't really hang them up like I did those ones and uh, because of the design they don't really stack nicely along a shelf or anything so uh, I just forgot to put that one in the shed is that one the... yeah that is the synchro one you can uh, get these nowadays that's a German one that one Nissen N I double -S, S E N but you can get them where they work all together so uh, they flash in a sequence automatically all you do is just put them on the cone turn them on and they will flash in a sequence all together automatically it's quite good and quite effective as well Let me dust that surface down. <coughs> uh, I'm going to get a few more Lego items. Then I'm going to look at getting a piece or a couple of uh, desktops to go on the top here. Um, but people are asking so much on eBay at the moment. And if I want a compact desk pro or something, I'm going to have to part with like 50 to 60 pounds. I don't mind if it hasn't got a hard drive. I just care about whether, you know, it turns on and powers up. I'm not fussed about anything else. <clears throat> uh, I just want to get... PC corn complete. Um, I would like some more of these, uh, this style of computer, you know, the 80 style, just to fill up these shelves here. Um, but I'm not sure what I want to get, to be honest. I think I'll put that amplifier up on the shelf. I think that'd be the best spot for it. Uh, I want a home for that monitor. I don't want to actually I suppose that monitor I could tuck down the back out of the way. Mm. I've got that bloody cabinet to get from my friend's flat. I'm going to actually message him I think soon and uh, G him up about going to get them. Like I said I don't mind towing the trailer which reminds me I have test ridden the trailer bike and it rides a hell of a lot better now. Front end is heavy with those big old forks in the front, but oh, that rides so much better. <laughs> so, so much better. I do like my tube stand, my inner tube stand. <laughs> I can't even pump. I've got tubes in the um, tires of Cat Strike's bike, but uh, I haven't got the hand pump up here. Because obviously they take the Presta valves, which is the skinny valve, as a lot of people call them that don't know the names of the two valves. These are Presta. Gotcha, I've got a better idea. Let's see if I can find it on here. It might actually show up there. Yeah, here we go. Well, that's called a Presta valve. And the type of valve you'll get on a car is a Schrader. There are a couple other types of valve, but they're not as common, and, I, and as such, I can't remember the name of them. But yeah, they're not common anyway. In fact, Prester and Schrader are pretty much the only two that are still used. Uh, if memory serves correctly, Prester is the high-pressure valve, because I suppose with such a small area, when you press on it, you've probably got more pressure. I would have thought anyway but uh, yeah I may quickly run downstairs tomorrow and just grab a pump out of the shed I've got several hand pumps 
But I think I left my one at mum's. So I've got the adapters here. I just think I left the pump there. Ooh. That may have the adapter in it that I want. Unless I've got another one in there. Because I've got like a half a dozen or more different adapters. In the top of my toolbox. And several hand pumps. As I said, I've got another two, three downstairs. I think I've got two or three at mum's. Don't think I got one up here in the cupboard anyway. Leave me light switch. Found another pair of bar ends. I've lost count on how many pairs of epoxy bar ends I've got. Electric drill. Oh yeah. Cats from Cats Trikes asked me if I had any drills. Uh, yeah. There's one under there as well. I don't know if it's showing up and just see the chuck there. <laughs> uh, and I've got... I've actually got one at Mum's that I deliberately left there anyway. And I've got another two, actually. Three. There's one under the bed. There's my Bosch, which is on my shelf over there by the computer. And... There's my blue Clark, wherever that's disappeared to. That's my old faithful, that one. Love using that one. My friend was going to check it out. In fact, I got most of these off the same friend. No, I got all of them off the same friend, actually. Yeah, that just proves how many tools he had. Ex ah, except the one I left at Mum. I paid for... Uh, 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 I paid five pounds for that off uh, someone on Facebook. That's a challenge brand. Bloody good drill, actually. For a you know a store brand, it's actually quite a good one. I was impressed. I was expecting it to be an absolute bag of shit, but nope. Does the job. I don't know where my clerk is at the minute. So again, yeah, I've got a large black one underneath the bed. I've got that JCB one with. Dud batteries. Well, I could probably build a battery out of the two, but I need a special screwdriver to get into them. Which I don't have, otherwise I'd have built a battery, a good battery out of the two. I can't remember what bloody screwdriver it has now. I think it's one of them. It's like a security screw thing. think. Oh, I can't see into that one. Let's take it out of here anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I actually got all of my, well I've got the mains drilled down there from him. Because he's got to chuck that out as well. That's a Bosch if I remember correctly. And all the cordless drills. In fact, all the drills I've got in this flat at the moment, I got from my friend. I gave my stepdad the Makia. Because he needed something half decent out there, so... More than I did, so... And I've got plenty here. Yeah, I'd have loved to have kept it, because it is a Makita and they are a bloody good brand, but... I've got enough here, so... I don't really miss it either. Yeah, it's weird. Am I the only person that can miss a material object? Probably not. <clears throat> I think my belt is annoying my waistline. I'm itching like hell down there again. Right. Well, speaking of cats from Cat Strikes, she's messaged me on Facebook. I'll listen to that in a little bit. <clears throat> Probably nagging me about the racer again. <laughs> Mind you, I do take my time over things. So I'm not really surprised I might get uh, nagged. I only, I'm only jesting. I'm not... <laughs> well, I hope people know I'm only jesting. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. There's one more console I would like up here as well. And that's the Sega Master System. 
I'm not really too fussed about other consoles, I just want a Master System sitting there. Maybe if I come across anything, you know, at a cheap or decent price, then I might go for it. Well, if, what I mean is if I come across a bargain, then I'd probably go for it. But, uh, I want to get this corner done more than anything. So I can play on some uh, nice, classic desktops. <laughs> I wouldn't mind one sitting in here for... Um, uh, Ooh, excuse me. That runs Windows 3.1, so I'll have a laptop and a desktop. Or Windows 3, either or, not first. Is that cat? Yeah, there is cat. Let's measure me. Uh, right. Uh, cool, the bottom of this camera is getting warm. Right, I'm just going to have a quick look on my ebay because I want to show you something on there because I am actually watching something on there and I do believe I've actually got a hard drive that will fit it if it hasn't ended where the fuck is it? second page? hello? oh Either I didn't watch it, or I've gone past it. <laughs> no eBay's being a pain in the ass. No surprise there. Oh. I'm just going to have to type in a quick search. Bear with me two minutes, or two seconds. Uh, what did I find that under? Vintage desktop PC, I think. £169 I could pay for one. Custom built mesh retro vintage gaming PC. £45.99. Not the one. Compact Desk Pro P800 Small Form Factor Retro Vintage PC Pentium 3 at 800 megahertz. That would probably run Windows 2000. It's an upright one, a Dell Optiplex. I didn't see that before. Oh, here it is. Um. Vintage Opus Technology 486-66 Desktop PC Built-in Speakers SCSI Interface hmm. No hard drive Please note the hard disk is missing as I used it in another PC so I'm unable to test So sold as spares or repairs. There's four days left and he's selling it at 99p. Postage is quite a stinger. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I could go pick that up. If he'd let me. It's only in Norwich. Holy shit. I'm going to add that to watch list. Because I could. If he let it's up to the seller, you know, some sellers don't like um, collections. But, uh, what we got in it? And, ooh, got some upgrade cards in there. Goody, goody. So I've got some, a couple of old hard drives up there, so I suppose I could get the gear to restore it if it turns on. 200 watt power supply. Well, come on, if I could win that for 99p, I'd be absolutely dumb not to go for it, wouldn't I? Even for the, actually, I might just have it posted. <laughs> nah, I'd go.
go get it. Item location, Norwich, Norfolk. I can ask him on Thursday. There's four days and 20 hours left. I'll ask him on Thursday. I'm so she wouldn't mind. Hmm, out of curiosity, let's see if he's got anything else related to PC's stamp album. A box Tom Tom sat nav. Three draw three draw cassette tape storage box and there's another one. What's this one? A V control stereo receiver amplifier manual and remote. A couple of fish tanks. Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Top bag. 149 quid. Oh, it's an LED television. Jesus. Elizabethan LZ32 reel to reel four track tape recorder. Uh, I'm going to add that as well. I wouldn't mind something like that in my collection of gizmos. It's got five days left though. Technics Compact CD disc player. What have I got a feeling he's separated a stack system? Page two. What have we got on page two? Bundle of eight BBC Micro Acorn Electron games. Brother printer, a dot matrix printer for BBC B Acon Electron computers. Only a forty-nine, four ninety-nine start, but I don't know. If... Really, two pounds twenty. Two pounds twenty for that. It's a Falcon. It's still worth more than that. Oh, it's got a trailer hitch on it. I don't like it though. I'm gonna watch it though. <laughs> Vintage PC computer analog joystick and joypad. Techno Plus Eagle and Hawk. Add to watch list. I feel like I'm just going shopping at the same house. <laughs> This is it. What was the other? I've got a feeling that printer would probably work on the machines I've got. So I'm going to add it to watch list. Oh, it's still in working order. It says, I think it can be used with other computers with the right interface cable. I do believe he's right. And I do believe my Am that would fit my Amstrad, actually. So to have something like... <laughs> he's printed hello on it. <laughs> okay, so we've got a guy with a sense of humour. Be a nice little addition, wouldn't it? It's a shame there's still like four odd days left. Whoops. If he didn't have anything else, that's quite cheap. I'm watching. He's got this floppy disk drive as well. So, yeah, it's a five and a quarter inch floppy disk drive. Don't actually have any, and I ain't got a use for it at the moment. 20 quid start bid, though. It does load discs. 
Grandstand UGT Universal Mains Adapter. Just seeing. Look like that's bloody a fairly old one. Four ninety nine. Someone's bid on it though. I suppose that would be handy for older gadgets and gizmos. Awa stereo cassette deck. Hmm. Boxed Kodak Disc 3500 camera. You can put lots of devices, lots of AV devices together. What we got? Or phono, CD, tape, data, record out, play in, VCR2, VCR1, in, out, in. Mm. We've got composite, TV monitor out. Well, that's in, in, out, out. What else have we got? Remote control out. Center out. Speakers. That's tempting, but I'm not sure. I've actually got. a use for anything like that, because I'm not really heavily into audio. It's the computers I want. Well, I'm definitely going to go for this. I'd be a twat not to, really, wouldn't I? Right, I'm going to close eBay. And I've got a cat on the chair behind me. I don't even know he's there. Right, I'm going to call it quits for the video, then. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Sorry it hasn't been a lot today. But, uh, it's one of them cases when I can get more done without the camera on than with the camera. So, um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. We're not going to find the button. I found, there it is.